they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the Hey everyone, I'm your host Enrique. Thanks for tuning into the Talk of the Town. Uh, today we got a very special guest on the show. Gene Twelve, what's up, baby? All right, awesome. So uh, we're gonna get started with a little icebreaker we have here called uh, Rapid Fire Questions. So I'll ask you some questions and you answer them really quickly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So the first one is uh, three things you'll take with you on an abandoned island. Uh, my three kids. Okay. So what is your favorite food? Tacos. Okay. Respectable. I like that. I can agree there. <laughs> What's your favorite album? Uh, Take Care. Okay. Favorite song right now? <laughs> Count these man rushing flow. Okay. All right. So, okay. Staying on the song tip. What's one song you know all the lyrics to that isn't your own? Uh, girl, you know I see you naked. Don't be a pretender. Get in high as a condo. That's when it all come together. That uh, what's the name of that song again? <laughs> <laughs> it's come through. <laughs> it's Drake's come through, probably. Yeah. About, there we go. You got me there for a second. I was like, damn, you know the lyrics are not the song name. <laughs> <laughs> How are you forgetting? So, what's your dream feature? Drake. Yeah. Nah, I figured I knew that one was going. <laughs> What's one song of yours you wish got more love? Uh, I I can't remember the name of it. I, I have terrible memory, is it? but it's it's uh it's me on a drill beat. Okay. But it's, it's, it's not like a drill song. It's more like a pain song. Hmm. Right, we'll figure it out. We'll put the name right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your favorite thing to do in New York City? Um, Be home. Hmm. Okay. And what show are you currently watching? Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, word? <laughs> Yo, season two or the first one? Season two. Yo, I got to get Crunchyroll, bro. I'm slacking. Yeah, yeah, this, this, oh, do you watch other anime, too? Yeah. Oh, word? Anime, yeah, yeah. Do you watch Attack on Titan? Yeah, of course. Yo, that's my shit. I, I, didn't, I didn't finish the third and fourth season, though. Because oh, it, got, it got two kind of like, it's like it kind of, you have to read the manga at some point because it kind of like skips a lot, yeah. of, a lot of stuff. Yeah, no. I definitely highly recommend it whenever you get the chance. Some, some top tier shit. And then last one is one lesson you've learned in the industry so far. It's a ladder. It shoots and ladders. Mm. Shoots and ladders. That's a good one. Really good analogy. All right, but and with that, we'll uh, rein it in. Thank you so much for playing no, rapid fire no, questions. No problem. <laughs> All right, so Shum, how uh, how did your musical journey start? So my musical journey started. Uh, so my uncle died, I think, when I was like ten, and he used to rap. So I used to go to South Carolina uh, to spend it with my aunt. And he used to be at my aunt's crib. He used mm -hmm. to live with my aunt and my uncle. And uh, we used to see him inside the room. Like, he used to practice. I think he used to play the clarinet, I think it was. And he used to uh, be in there with his little tape recorder, his Jay-Z, his Jay-Z uh, posters on the wall and be rapping. And then, so, we, I used to see that. And then when he died, it's like, I kind of just slowly kind of pick up the mantle. Got like kind of picked up the mantle. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wrote my first rap when I was like twelve. Wow. But then when I was in uh my senior year of high school, I wasn't really rapping. Sometimes I was just write like I like me and my friends would do like something like wilding out. Mm -hmm. When we was outside of my my grandmother's crib, my grandmother had a porch a porch, and we always sit in front of it. We used to play like a game where we 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 rap, but we talking trash about each other. We making jokes, gotcha. but in a rapping form. Okay. Um. This was before, like, we even knew about Wild and all, so, like, this is something we used to do. But from there, my senior year, my, uh, my man's, um, his name's Giz the Wiz, he just was like, yo, bro, yeah, we should start rapping. Because we was already, like, kind of, kind of, like, into it. Mm -hmm. And then, rest in peace, my son Cash, uh, we was just, like, we was at the lunch table one time, and then, you know, we just do the beat on the lunch table. We was like, yo, let's get it. Here you rap it. Holy shit. Yeah. Damn, no, nah, that's 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 really a story right there. Well, first, I'm sorry for the loss of your uncle and your friend. Yeah, thank you. And thank secondly, you. Uh, no, I feel like it's a really honorable way to, to keep the, to keep it going. You know, like taking up the mantle and look at what you've done with it thus far. It's, man, you know, I, I know he's proud. I know he's proud. I know he's looking at you proud. So, what were some of your influences growing up? Like outside of uh, familial influences, like on music, more like the people you would look to listening to music. Be like, damn, that's the kind of stuff I want to make. Uh, so, so you talking about like outside of hip hop? 
Um, of, music in general. It could be music, outside of hip hop. Music in general. Yeah, I know a lot of people. Like it's crazy. You know, like we have a lot of draw rappers come on the show. Yeah. And then I'll ask them that question, and they'll be like, "Honestly, Michael Jackson." Um, I listen. <laughs> <laughs> I, li- I listen to Michael Jackson, but yeah, for real, for real, mm-hmm. I used to live in Concord's Village. Okay. When I was younger, with my grandmother, uh, we used to live on the twenty fourth floor in the bathroom. We used to have this. This is this. Uh, this. 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 Um. Like, uh, this this thing to play music on or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, this is back when you still had to buy CDs. Wow. So, uh, I had the Backstreet Boy CD, and my cousin had the Usher the Usher CD. Uh, uh, the one where he on the cover is like brown and like oh, is that beige, con- and he's like this is on that, the cover. I forgot the name. Is that Confessions? I think that is Confessions. As yeah, a my par- my parents had the Confessions. I think the Part Two CD. I th- yeah, I think that was Confessions. So so I used to I used to. <laughs> Get out the shower to uh to switch the CDs from uh, I used to listen to uh, I like what it that way and then I would, <laughs> then I would switch and go to um oh, 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 oh no what's that song what's the name of the song uh you got it you got it bad that was, oh, I, sure. that, was that was my song <laughs> but besides, besides that though in high school I used to listen to classical baroque oh wow yeah. Oh shit! Now nah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. did, did you play like instruments in high school as well? Man, I tried. I don't have an affinity for to sit there and learn. Like, I got, I got, I get distracted quick. So it's like, mm-hmm. like I tried to learn how to play the flute. Okay. I tried to learn how to play the guitar. In those moments, you know, mm-hmm. I'll be pretty decent at it. Yeah. But once I don't have the class no more, it's like I don't have the 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 like I don't have the focus enough to go back and oh let me just go buy a guitar I tried yeah. to learn piano in college just like but I've learned like sitting there and reading the notes that's that's not my thing that's mm. just not my thing no I feel that so did you have like a a favorite composer or like even like a favorite symphony oh uh, man I, I <laughs> there's a lot guy it, I forgot it wasn't a Beethoven one though mm-hmm. it, it might have been by Cicero. Okay. I'm I'm not sure. I, I I really can't. I think I, I it might have been by Cicero though. It might have been by Cicero. I can't really remember. Wow. Yeah. No. That, that's a deep cut, bro. I mean, I don't know. A lot of people are gonna get that. Holy shit. I'm doing really, uh, classical real quick. Yeah, bro. Honestly, like that's the first. I've never had that as an answer before. But you know why that is though? Uh, I had read when I was younger. I was like, yo, people who listen to classical real usually uh, has better memory retention. So when I used to oh, go to yeah. sleep, I used to play it to sleep. Mm-hmm. Cause I used to I have bad, I always had bad memory, so I was, I used to play it to try to get like my um like to try to help hopefully hoping it'll help with my memory. Yeah. So I, it didn't work, but <laughs> I, I had some good it was some good tunes. Yeah, no, nah, people really sleep on that nowadays. Yeah, it's crazy when you when you take the words away and it's just like instruments of all different kinds. Like... Yeah, it's, it's fire though. I used to it's, you know I listen to but besides that though I listen to like. My grandfather used to listen. Used to my grandfather used to listen to a lot of uh, like jazz and like and like uh, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Oh, uh, okay. Bill Withers, like Motown type shit. Yeah, my mother gotcha. used to listen to like a lot of uh, like Patti LaBelle and like uh, I forgot the it's, it's uh, I forgot the other, the other uh, lady's name, but it was always like a like singing you know, those songs where they sing and it sounds like they're in a concert and they're talking like mm-hmm. hey, some child <laughs> <laughs> you know, those type of songs if you just listen to those type of so i had i had a bunch of musical influences like especially outside of hip-hop because real for my dad wasn't a big hip-hop fan he only listened to r&b he listened to two rappers and that was bmx and tupac and that was it wow wow look at that that's crazy of all rappers, too, two of the best. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but, but you got to kind of look at them; they, like, they're similar, mm-hmm. they kinda like, and they, and they, and they, and they kind of functionality, like very uh, bodacious characters. Like, mm-hmm. So my dad used to listen to only them two. Wow, damn, a whole host of influences. Sweet, okay, man. so what made you realize that music was taking off for you? You know, ah, uh, what, what, when I, when I. So when I realized that I was like music was my thing, mm-hmm. like that that's something I really should like I should focus on. Uh I realized that when um 
So I, I had these I had these friends. I used to uh, I used to go to to school kids studios. Thing was Anthony. Uh, we had did a cipher, and then I seen like like we had did like you know BT cipher came out. You yeah. Know, BT cipher was about to come out, so we so we marketed like it was. So Anthony put it out like it was it was. The BT cipher, but it wasn't. Gotcha. It, was, it was just a bunch of a bunch of kids from New York rapping. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's tough. When uh, cause they, they, they was nice. Like the people I was rapping, they was nice. And mm-hmm. then when I was reading through the comments, yo, she ain't killed that. She ain't killed that. I was like, yo, maybe, maybe I got something here. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I got something here. And then another time that really sparked it for me was when I had a song called Cap and Gown. Mm-hmm. Uh, Drake was about to release. I think uh. He that song with um with Wiz Kid. Oh, uh, one dance. One dance. I need a one dance. I think if I'm not bugging, yeah. I put <laughs> I pulled the Soldier Boy. I put I put Drake. One, I knew it was coming out twelve too. So <laughs> <laughs> that twelve him on the dot. Drake one day. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we listen to it. Oh, this this ain't Drake, but it's hard. Yeah, this ain't Drake, but it's hot. This ain't Drake, but it's hard. This and then from there, I was like, yeah, this this might be. This might be my thing. For sure. This okay. Nah, that's that's good though. That's a great way to catch like a viral look, honestly. Especially back then, you know, before the algorithm was like really, yeah, really settled was, into themselves. The algorithm is crazy. Yeah, nowadays yeah, it's just nuts. It's, it's ridiculous. It's just really tough. But okay. So now with count these bands, mm-hmm. it's uh I feel like it definitely appeals to that virality, to like to to the social TikTok culture that we have now, you know, it's got a really great hook. Mm-hmm. It's also pretty short. Mm-hmm. What was the creative process behind that song like, and how did you approach it? Uh, man, um, so the way the way that song came about is literally uh, my boy Vex mm-hmm. I happened to walk in the studio. Shout out Nigel, Nigel Studio. Um, uh, he's an A&R for like Lil Durk, and so I go to his studio. I went to his studio and I happened to walk in there, Vex. Making, you know, he's working on the beat. I go in there, all I hear is that um, I hear that, you know, that that beat that like Eric Kim. I'm like, oh, because I didn't even know, I didn't even remember about the Lil Wayne and Lloyd song. Mm-hmm. I, I heard that beat, and I, all I first thing I was thinking in my head was thinking of a master plan. What I just put inside my hand, I can tell my pocket all my money. Uh, that that's the first thing I thought when I heard that beat. So I'm like, oh, we we, we doing this? This what we doing? I ain't cut it. We rapping? I ain't mm-hmm. cool. So I, I hopped in the booth, and so with a lot, most of my songs, I don't I don't pin them. I just get in the booth and I I try to I freestyle two three lines, I, like two three lines at a time. I keep punching in that with two three four lines, and that's how that song came about. But then the chorus came about because Vex is like, yo, you know, it'd be dope if you kind of like use like. Like the, the the like their kind of version, but kind of mix it a little bit, like yeah. make it your own. And I was like, oh, you got to show me, cause I, I, you know, I was. He played it. I'm like, oh, I know this song. I know this song. I right, bet. Let me see. Like, we're back in like 30 seconds. That time I had wrote it down, like 20, 30 seconds. Boom, got it in and recorded it. Oh sure. Okay. Nice. Yeah. No, I really like it too. I feel like it's it's one of those songs that utilizes the sample well. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. No, of course, man. I feel like. Sampling has become so prevalent, so prevalent nowadays. Like, take for example, have you heard that Glow Roller track with Fabio? Oh yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's got the Uchiwali the sample Uchiwali. in the, mm-hmm. but it's also got like some Cha Cha Slide sample <laughs> interpolation <laughs> Cha-cha-cha. on a drill beat. Yeah. I don't, what do you think of it? That song is it's not it's not my favorite song from her. Okay, I, I like, I I think. I like that song with her and Cardi did. Especially I like when when I'm in a club and I watch all the women just yeah. tomorrow too. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, nah, you're with your twin in them. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up, baby. You ride with your twin in them. That's what's up. So yeah, when I when I that that's my favorite that's that's probably my favorite song about her. And and Fabi, I like when Fabi be talking dirty, like when he when he get on the beat and he start like he start he get on them like uh what's that one song? Thirteen turning thirty? Mm-hmm. That's, that's like probably one of my favorite Fabi songs. Like, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think my favorite Fabi verse is um, uh, honestly his verse on Off the Grid. Really? Yeah, bro. I feel like I, I feel like definitely because I'm also a Kanye fan, so <laughs> that is like you know I'm definitely biased there. 
but I feel like that was such a big moment for Pavi, and yeah. he killed it, bro. Nah, he, he, did killed his, it. he did his thing. He outrapped Kanye on his own beat, and I mean, Cardi was kind of just there, you know. Like he, I feel like he didn't really add too much substance. He definitely added atmosphere. Cardi's on that song. Yeah. I don't, I'm not. I don't, I don't listen too much, Cardi. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're good. Don't worry. Donda was a minute ago anyway. But yeah, I feel like that was definitely. And even then, that was like the verse of that year too. That but. that Donda that Donda album was fire though. That that that, that album was fire. Like that, from production, I listened to that thing whole like like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I was like, yo, this is because of production. I'm like, dang, this, this production is crazy. Yeah, that shit was absolutely a moment. I feel like Kanye's just got like a crisp and clean ear, and Kanye is one of them ones. Absolutely, bro. Kanye is one of them. His probably, like probably most general, most most influential artists of like our generation most likely like that's for real for real yeah i'll say top three for me like when it comes to most gen most influential for me it would be probably like uh kanye mm -hmm. uh i'd probably say um chief keef yeah absolutely chief keef and lo and behold i, I have to put this is this is gonna be the weirdest answer. I'll have to put like Lil B or Soldier Boy in there. Wow, they changed, they changed no, the whole internet culture, that's a fact, bro. I was talking about that shit the other day too with some of my boys because like Lil B, Lil B changed the whole does culture. He not get the fucking respect he deserves, not at bro. All. Yo, and you know what's crazy? I listen to when I listen to like when I hear Sexy Red, listen, mm -hmm. like young, uh, Sexy Red. Uh, like that's the base god flow. Like that yeah, young bro. base god was a god. That's that's the base god flow. Yeah. Like so, I be listening to her like, oh, she just she like a female base god. Right, she said the trends right now. Yeah. No, nah, he really set the whole. Uh, yeah, I mean, shit. I'll say it again. He set the trend like, for this entire thing going on, dropping all that music, all those mixtapes online, direct to fans, yo, and like in such saturation too. Like yeah. I feel like pretty much like laid the blueprint for what a lot of these well, artists he, are doing. He nowadays. made an opening. He made an opening for like. For people just to be able to make whatever music they want to make. Like, if you want to make this kind of music, go make. There's a lot. He he showed people that there's an audience for everybody. Like, exactly. There's literally an audience for anybody. Yeah, and shit. He's still popping to this day too, which is yo, that's great. Talk about, talk about hey, yeah, days, God. <laughs> so, um, with uh, so you you've kind of like for a while been in the melodic trap genre, yeah. trap hip hop adjacent mm -hmm. genre. Do you see yourself like stemming out of that? Or like dabbling with other genres. Shit, lo and behold, I my my original my original genre was hip hop. It was nineties mm. hip hop. My original genre was like me rapping like that. That is easy for me, for me to get in the song and just okay. and do, do back to back words like that. That's some boom bap type shit. Yeah, it's okay. boom bap rap is easy for me. It's harder for me to do melodic trap. I don't know wow. why that is, but it's just it's it's harder for me. I feel like maybe because when I do like boom like melodic trap. I know it's more flexy, but mm -hmm. when you when you do like boom bap rap, it's more just skill. Like how how nice are you? How how much? What can you put together? But I, just, I got a country song. I got like a song. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, li I listen to country <laughs> music too, man. Really? Listen, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I, I'm not. I can't say I'm too deep into it, but I feel like ever since, especially Lil Nas X did his whole thing with Old Town Road. Like I feel like I've definitely seen a little more of the country genre and like the. The crossover into hip hop. You know what's crazy? I've listened to country before that. Word. <laughs> Damn, you listen to country since what? The, since the what, what was that song that Nelly had with uh, those country guys? Oh, Nelly was one of my favorite artists as a kid. Oh, word. Uh, I I know I know what song you're talking about though. I know exactly what song. I was just it's crazy. I just was listening to that album. It was it was actually that goes. It's only just a dream, right? Or am I bugging? Ah, I can't I can't remember. It wasn't a movie, right? I, I can't, I can't remember it, but I was. This is like, a, like last month. I was just listening to to Nelly's album back to back to see what haven't been touched, like or, <laughs> to see what hasn't been touched, like what what sample people haven't touched yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. Nelly got some joints and nobody. And it's crazy. What it's crazy when I was doing that. I think like a month later, and Nelly dropped the um. It's hot in here. Yeah, I was like, yo, that that that's that, that crazy. Life. Yeah, that's it. It's, I was like, "Yo, great minds think alike." Because I was really thinking, like, "Yo," um, I was really thinking in my head, "Yo, I should do that." Where they at? Where they at? If you want to come and take a ride with me, but then didn't didn't Rod Wave do something like that too? If I'm not bugging, he just did the um harmony. Yeah, okay. So I knew I knew I wasn't bugging. I'm like, "Yo, Nelly had some hits." But before before we switch the question, mm -hmm. me, I just want to lay this out. Let me not forget, Young Thug is also. One of the biggest influences on rap culture right now is like, 
like that's a I gotta make sure I pay homage to that because he he helped him and Future is the reason that I started doing a lot of tracks. Oh well, uh, yeah, that's crazy. I was thinking about that the other day too, and not necessarily about Thug, but more so about Future, mm-hmm. and really Drake and Future because I was thinking about like you know Drake's been around at this point for what like fifteen years, right? Drake so, so far gone dropped what two thousand eight. Man's yo, he's he's got this the long. He got the game like this. He got, he, he <laughs> Absolutely, got game nuggies. He out here getting his nuggies. Come here, you want a verse? So, <laughs> nah, I'm over here thinking like, damn, back when "What a Time to Be Alive" came out, like that really. After that, I feel like melodic trap just like blew up completely. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, crazy. bro. Crazy, but, but my all-time favorite Drake album will always be "Take Care." Yeah, that was yeah. I remember Take being 13 years old listening to that shit. Yeah. Care, she was crazy. Yeah. Marvin's room had like thirteen year old me crying about the ex girlfriend that like, you know I never even crazy? had. <laughs> I used to, I used to get mad at my ex and listen to karaoke. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Holy shit. I've ever been. <laughs> Man, nah, Drake Drake is really to this one day, of them ones. That one, if anything. No, he yo, he's the one right now. Nah, he, he's, he, he the boy. He is. <laughs> like a Kai is the most influential. But Drake is like, like I don't care what nobody say. He's like the Michael Jackson of, of like, of this generation right now. Because it's it's nothing Drake can't touch, and it turn not gold, not just gold, but diamond. Anywhere, anything, especially in hip hop, if anything Drake get on, like you know, what what's, what act be saying, uh, stimulus package. Like Drake really got a stimulus package. Like if anything he jumps on is like, okay, now you out of here. Like now yeah. you you take a picture with Drake, you yeah. out of here. You found a hanger with Drake. Gonna you go out of here. It's like, it's like, like, and to this day, I ain't gonna lie, I still use Drake quotes on girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drake's pen, Drake's pen is absolutely unmatched. Like the, the I'm sure you listened to what was it, 8 a.m. in Charlotte? Damn, no, I actually don't know that one. Dropped. Yeah, oh yeah, it just dropped. Oh, it yeah, just yeah, dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but lately, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really listen to music. Oh like, word? Nah, I listen to like. At this point, I listen to, like Tracy Chapman. Like I, I'll go listen to a Tracy Chapman song. I'll go listen to like, like DMX. Like how's it going down? I go back to DMX. Uh, okay. Like I, they, I barely listen to music like that. Uh, yo, actually, one person I have listened to is Young Boy. Mm. Yeah, I can't tell you. She, she can tell you all about that. <laughs> young Boy, Young Boy, Young Boy is. You know, I, I mess with Young Boy's music. He got a lot of pain in his. He got a lot of pain in his music. Mm. Yeah, he's got a lot of whole lot of whole lot of music too bro like <laughs> i feel like him i could compare it to like a, a low b type where he's just got like an absolute mass of music he dropped a lot i think like 10 13 projects last year alone you get a mixtape you get a mixtape you get a mixtape yeah yeah I, 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 well especially when i don't listen to, to young boy when he'd be doing like the hard like new orleans sound i oh, listen okay. to when he does like the melodic sound because gotcha. young boy melodic is like fire like fire yeah okay hmm. okay let me uh, let me get right back on track here. So <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna play another game. Mm-hmm. This one is the last game, and it's a little shorter. So it's just the last time you do X Y Z. Okay. So what's the last album you listened to in full? The last album I listened to in full. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's an album that recently came out. I did that too. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't remember. Uh, but probably I would say Young Boy album. Okay. What's the Young Boy album? What is uh the last movie you saw? Uh, is an old anime movie called uh, uh, Godfathers in Tokyo. Oh no, I'm not. I'm now nah, you have me on, bro. Movie. Okay. What is uh what's the last thing you ate? The last thing I ate was waffle. Mm, nice, <laughs> nice. I love me a good chocolate chip waffle. The uh, <laughs> what's the, what's the last thing you spent money on? My kids. Mm. Love that. Stand up answer. <laughs> Who's the last person you texted? My uh, my girlfriend's last baby mother. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last? Um, uh, are you a gamer? Yeah. Yeah, I right, but perfect. <laughs> What's the last game you played? <laughs> I think Wulong Dynasty. No, I'm lying. It wasn't Wulong Dynasty. It was uh, 
It was I was playing the Hero Academia rumble oh, joint. That yo, just came out. Oh, yo, I just started playing that yeah. shit yesterday too. It's crazy. Yeah, that, that Did you fuck with it or no? That just fire. That, nah, that shit is fire. tough. That shit is tough, bro. I'll be fire. Yeah, <laughs> I keep trying to play as Midoriya, and it's crazy because like every time I want to do that, everybody Midoriya? else is playing as Midoriya, no, bro. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? He's like a cheat. It's like it's like it's a couple players that's a cheat. Like I just found out Dobby, like using Dobby's a cheat. A word? What? Dobby's Damn. Bakugo. I know you watch everybody use Bakugo and they be like just yeah, go bro. ham and they that be flying shit is mad OP. Ridic- <laughs> ridiculous. Mad OP. And everybody else is just hopping around for the most part. But I be mean, but I just caught like I was playing yesterday, I caught like like what two, three dubs in a matter of five games. Oh word? Yeah, yeah me and my man's we be cooking up. Oh, shit. Nah, I only got I think I've played like ten games total and I almost won once. But nah, I've just been playing with randoms, so like kind of just going with the flow, but it's all right. Yeah, what, definitely... what, what system are you playing on? You're yeah, Xbox man or PS5 man? I'm actually PS4 man still. PS4. Oh. Yeah, well, bro. We got to get you into them new gens, Yo, man. next month, though. <laughs> next month, because Spider-Man's coming out this month, and I got to I gotta cop up on my oh, PS5. Oh, yeah, that is coming. I got to buy that for my son. Yo, that's just going to be crazy. And then uh, last, last one is, what's the last song you made? The last song I made was, uh, he can't. Touch me, how I touch you. Uh, leave if you want to. I forgot the name of it. I, I just, I, I forgot. But it's, it's. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. But it was, it's like a love song. Okay, it's a love song. Yeah. All right, but. Mm-hmm. All right. So with County's bands having just come out, what can we look forward to next? And during this last quarter of 2023. Last quarter of 2023, you can look for more music. Um. You can look for a remix of County's bands to come out. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, yeah, it will probably it might be one of somebody's favorite artists. You know oh, what I'm saying? Shit. Okay. Um, we uh, you know, from from for County's bands, we we gonna get it city, the country, from city to state, the country, hopefully to global. Oh, heard that. All right, Sheem, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Why don't you tell the people? Oh, <laughs> why don't you tell the people where they can find you? Uh, you can find me on IG at S H E E M K L U A F. Um, yo, hit me up. Send me some love, baby. So good to I appreciate y'all. Thank you for having me. Much love. Bronx coming up. Big coming up. We going up.